and the like. So some of the artists that are named in this next uh, tune um, are, uh, are musicians who play this type of music. It's actually a very variety type thing. But the origin of this song took place here on Staten Island about Oh, I don't know, 15, 20, how many years ago? So, here was the idea. It was Christmas time. And um, my brother had made this creche, you know, this uh, manger scene with the stable and everything. He really secretly built this, like in the basement or something. And we were going to surprise my mom with it by placing it on the top of the roof that was over the porch. You know, the, uh, yeah. we don't know the yeah, place that, that is. Right, okay. <laughs> so... It was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, my, uh, they went up to set it up there and they realized that it could not be seen uh, just being flat. It was going to have to be tilted a little. But as a result, all the things in it were like sort of sliding. Right? And they're doing this while my mother is in choir singing at midnight mass. So it's that it's, it's icy on the roof. It's it's uh, it's cold, and we're trying to get this done uh, before everybody comes out of midnight mass to surprise my mom for Christmas. So my brother Jimmy is up there, and uh, he's trying to do it, and it's getting a little tense and. He utters these famous words. If I had a fucking hammer, I could nail this fucking man. Crack my brother from the roof while midnight mass was said. And if I had a fucking image, I could nail this fucking woman. And okay, our baby Jesus would fall down upon our heads. But I ain't got a fucking hammer. I ain't even got a fucking manger. I ain't got a fucking image. Or a fucking metaphor. I don't even like the F word. It shows a weakness in the right. And what the fuck's the fucking F word even for <laughs> Rachel Leighton's fucking grateful Ray Brown fuck the mouth and Stanford Debbie Dalton says fuck you If you don't like her oh Susanna And Penta says it over and over at the end of this on you So I guess there is a precedent for me to use it too this all started at Cafe Vivaldi. I was listening to Steve Stavola. That's Steve Stavola. He only uses motherfucker once in his entire oeuvre. I find his music healing because his images are true. And I hope to find a metaphor to heal the loss of you. To heal the loss of you. Rachel Layton's fucking grateful. Ray Brown fucked him out and stand. Debbie Dalton says fuck you. If you don't like her oh Susanna. Morgan Heron just says fuck you Tony in a song called fuck you Tony. <laughs> Now I think I realize just where this whole song's going. Cause as I sat there wondering about the strange turn this song took, I remembered that Cafe Vivaldi was in our old neighborhood. And you never liked the F word in any song you might be hearing. Now I realize I need a tiny bit more healing. A tiny bit more healing. If I had a fucking hammer, I could nail this fucking man. 
pry my brother from the roof while well, midnight mass was set. And if I had a fucking image, I could nail this fucking wig. And no pain or baby Jesus would fall down upon your head. But I ain't got a fucking hammer. I ain't got a fucking manger. I ain't got a fucking lyric or a fucking metaphor. I don't even like the F word. It shows a weakness in the writing. And what the fuck's the fucking F word even for?